You guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are doing the sack sale and there's a lot going on with the sack sale. So the designer sales started a little bit ago. It started on the 22nd and I think it's going to the 4th. I'm not sure. I think it is the 4th. Then they have something last night when I was looking at some more items. Some of the items said flash sale and that started yesterday. Well, it's Today, it's the 30th, but I was doing this late at night until July 2. And then there's another sale on July 5th. It's a one-day sale. Now, I'm guessing the cuts might be deeper for that one, but this is my observation. Recently, I have been posting things on my community page because I, I just love fashion. And less so fashion than style, putting things together. Because fashion, to me, is... I'm following what's going on in the catwalk, which I do to a teeny, teeny, teeny bit, but I'm uh, not a huge amount of it because I, I it's time consuming <laughs> and fantastical, do you know what I mean? But I do love style, and I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, and I want to mention it again because I'm sure not everybody saw that, and certainly everybody's not going to see this. I kind of want to do more of those postings but I don't know how to shoot full body without it being like your frame's this big and the body's this big. One, two, whenever I try to do anything with my phone, it makes me look like a midget. Three, I don't have that kind of beautiful space here where I have white walls and a place where there, you won't see anything else. You're gonna see everything else and I don't like that. And three, I'm very uncomfortable with what my body's looking like. So I don't necessarily want to shoot myself, but I do want to point out to you things that I found on sale or ideas or looks, and I'm doing that on my community page because uh, this is a lot of work. And I think, you know, setting up a blog, <laughs> I don't know that I have the bandwidth to do that. I love doing these sale videos because I look for hours and hours and hours for things that I might like. So you don't have to. Now, previously, I've also looked for things that I don't necessarily love, but I think someone else might love. And I started to think last night when I was going through my list and taking all the pictures, and I went through it again and I cut like half of them out, and I decided I want to stay a little more true to this is something I really like. Because you could always say, well, somebody will like this about everything. And then I'm not really giving you a select. Do you know what I mean? So this I've tried to make a little bit shorter, but I don't think I'm going to be successful in that. I am going to put everything in groups. So we'll have shirts, pants, skirts, and dresses. And I'm going to scooch up my computer and put on my readers, and we're going to get into it right now. Oh, before we get into it, again, I know not a lot of people watch these videos, so not too many will get this message, but I've been here for four years now, and I'm just not growing as fast as I would like to. I, I want to grow a little bit faster, and you can help me with that. All you have to do is free is give this video a thumbs up and make a comment below even if you don't want to comment about the content in this video you could just say hi <laughs> or say hi to somebody else who said hi you know start a conversation down below as long as it's nice although I have to say this is an incredibly nice group of people and I've never seen anybody get uh, rude with one another so I probably didn't even need to say that so let's put on the glasses pull up the computer by the way this necklace is something that I put in the community page somewhere I know I did because I said I'm, I kind of think I want this I got it <laughs> I will post what I'm wearing on my face if there's enough room what I'm wearing on my face and this necklace as well as everything else if there's not enough room I'll do it in a pinned comment Right, let's get into it. So I have my computer balanced on something. <laughs> so safe, nothing to worry about here. We're going to start with dresses. To me, summer is about dresses. But 
What I love about dresses and I've always loved about dresses is you kind of just put it on and you're done. You don't have to fuss with, does this go with this? You know, put on a little jewelry, put on a pair of spanky shoes and you are good to go. Most of these are summer and most of them are casual to casual fancy, if you will. Like a um, kind of a chic going out for brunch on the weekend. But I have a couple of things in here that are appropriate for the office, I think. So if you are a working girl and you just want to jazz it up a little bit in the summer but you want to be work appropriate, keep on, keep on watching. Okay, Stoud. This is the Cross Hill Stripe Mini Dress and it's long sleeved. It's appropriate for the office. The back's cut out, so maybe not appropriate for the office. You do you. It's kind of an ampere waist, which can be very flattering on certain body types. If you are that body type, you know you are. You, you go for that kind of cut. And I wanted to put that forth, but it's a lovely summery fabric. Um, and I like that. Now this actually looks like something Miranda would wear, doesn't it? Sylvia Shirasi, tawny stripe halter neck dress. I just love this. I love this. This is, to me, I, I will tell you if you haven't been here before, the little fantasy that goes along with each story, right? To me, this is an evening party during the weekend over the summer with a bunch of chic people <laughs> and you want to be one of them. Here's another one that I think might be really workable for the office and it is by 70. It's the geometric silk twill wrap midi dress and to me this pattern which I'm going to bring in right now it has a very um, Miu Miu Prada kind of look to it, Marnie maybe and always in style and at the same time a, a smidge retro but modern. This dress from C Another Empire, you're thinking, okay, whatever. It's the Camellia Crochet Plisé midi dress. And I'm going to show you a close up of what's going on with this crochet work. I just think that is super delicate and feminine, and I'm all about it. And I like the way the neckline isn't straight V. It looks like it goes down a little bit and broadens a little bit, kind of a Moroccan motif. I love that neckline. I love. By the way, I have noticed when I was looking at sales, like I pointed out some beautiful things on sale, the kind of things you wear every day but have really put together at Mango, and I noticed I couldn't buy a single one of them because the large sales, the large sizes are sold out. I don't know if brands aren't making enough. Like maybe they do small, medium, extra small, huge quantity, and then they do small quantity of the larges, but the larges go fast if you are like me and a large girl. I think you need to jump on this stuff. This is also by C. It's a bric-a-brac in black and white. And again, honestly, on the weekend farmer's market, on the weekend flea market, you might not be able to wear this to work because it's a, the cut's a little low, but I could totally see this going with a jacket and you take it out to dinner. Al fresco. I love this dress. This is Sarah Roca. They're calling it the Nitty Striped Hem Poplin Shirt Dress. It's a shirt dress that isn't one of those things, and we'll have one later on that's just kind of shapeless and you have to put a belt on it. And this is not a shapeless shirt dress, but it's that poplin fabric. It's a beautiful blue. My Zara blouse that I'm loving so much is the same kind of fabric. Really nice and substantial, but also cool which is great, but to me, this is just, is this either West Palm Beach, old money, or, you know, Montauk, Hamptons, that kind of thing? There is something a little bit retro about this, um, the cut, and I'm here for it. Very flattering. On my kind of figure, that's very flattering because I have a waist, and then I have junk in the trunk, and this kind of hides it all. Here's another one, I think, because it's long sleeved, maybe more than anything, I'm thinking again, dinner, parties, Ronnie Kobo, Mara Midi dress. I like that sleeve, it's a little triangular at the end, but I love these colors, this kind of blue, it's like a steely, 
cool gray blue with this orange that isn't a bright orange, but it's an earthy orange. They're both the same amount of vibrancy. So they, they look not too loud. I mean, orange can be quite loud. I think that is beautiful. And here's one I think you could do for the office. It's sweet. Again, weekend brunch flip-flops or sandals like they have it here by Rachel Comey, the Mert Silk dress. It has a pocket as well, which is, who doesn't like that? It's kind of an apron dress, which I actually have a pair of apron, I have an apron, like overalls, but they're not overalls, actually. And I have another pair. Actually, I have three. <laughs> <laughs> I like the aprons. You can put anything underneath it. If you want to put a little t-shirt, uh, a really pretty thin kind of t-shirt, long sleeve, short sleeve, whatever, underneath it, I love it. I want this. Magali Pascal, the barrel linen cotton lace midi dress. Are you kidding? It's the same kind of steel blue, but a paler version of it with this lace that it's not like boudoir lace. So beautiful, love the color, love, 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 love. They don't have it in my size. It's at such a good price too. I'm gonna keep on checking because I have found, last year I really wanted a pair of pants that don't fit me, and it was sold out. And I thought, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on coming back. And I go back like three, four times, five times, six times a day, and eventually it came back into stock. So if you see something that is not in stock, keep on checking. This is by Lem Lem. It's the Eshi Plunge Neck Dress. It looks like it's a really light cotton. You're in the desert, you're somewhere super hot. You're in Mexico, you're in Hawaii, you're on vacation somewhere. This covers you up, but it's not going to make you feel warm. Flip flops, heels, whatever. Maybe it worked because it's not too low cut for if you work someplace where you can do casual Fridays. Love. Well, here is another dress that has such an interesting, powerful, impactful print about it. Again, that kind of Miu Miu geometric. It is the Double J Edition 31 Flicker Dot Print Midi Dress. <laughs> really good price. And it, it, it's in that same category. Work, evening party. I love it. This Johnny Wass, I have to say, they're calling it a tunic dress. I would wear this over jeans or even over leggings because I don't show my legs <laughs> like that. But I love this fabric. It reminds me of a vintage Japanese fabric, but when you look in close, there's a very subtle stripe as well. It almost looks like pin tucking, and it's just a nice little watercolor vintage feel to it. Very easy to wear, and as you can see, the arms are kind of big, so I can imagine air flowing through. So you can look pretty when it's 102 outside. This by Ghani Eyelet Puff Sleeve Midi Dress. This is completely see through. So, two things you could do with this one, you can get a vintage slip in a color. I have a skirt, a crochet skirt, that has a red slip built in. And for something else that I own, I can't remember what, I went and bought a vintage red slip, those rayon slips, you know, and you could wear something like that. You could do yellow, you could do red, you could do white, you could do black, or you could kind of do bodysuit, you, you know, you got a black t-shirt, sleeveless t-shirt, and then you have leggings underneath it. I don't know why they put it with boots, but... I think that's kind of fun, and certainly you could use it as a cover-up over your bathing suit. This is from Frame, and they're calling it a eyelet puff sleeve mini dress. Again, I would wear this as a shirt. I love the puffy sleeves. They cover the junky stuff in the arms, and yet it looks like it's light and refreshing and cool. Now here's another shirt dress. This is Fabiana. Filippi oversized paisley shirt dress, which I think is very 70s chic. I love a 70s chic. It's the brown, it's the paisley. It needs a belt desperately, and I see it with like wooden bangles. Do you know what I mean? And maybe a chunkin' wood necklace and instead of heels, which works fine, a pair of flat sandals. This could be incredibly chic and a good price. That looks like it's quite a bit off. Not everything's going to be this pricey, you guys, but Etro 
look at these colors. If this doesn't make you happy, I don't understand. <laughs> How is it possible? I love these vibrant colors. They put a belt on it, but you can just wear it as a tent. There's so much going on. I don't know if a belt is something that you want to do unless you do something without hardware. Like this hardware is a little too much and it makes a model look short-waisted, which is hard to do. I love this color. I just, I, so summer, so delightful. Good price for Etro. And Etro has a couple of other things, but I didn't want to show you everything. But there's some other things going on with Etro. Donna Karan, New York, I can see this for work. I can see this for casual. This is, again, one of those maybe East Coast kind of, or maybe Old Money, West Palm Beach. Very simple, but not plain because the hemline is a little bit different. And it's a cotton eyelet tea dress. And that price, that looks like it is more than half off. Donna Karan, New York, tie neck, blue sun sleeve dress. Also that price, insane. To me, this is a good summer dress. This actually, I mean, no, that's not what I mean. This is a great office dress. And depending on where you live, this could probably go year long. Because if you work in an office, you probably have the air conditioning down to, you know, 65. So you can do a long sleeve like this. It doesn't scream fall. It doesn't scream winter. It doesn't scream spring or summer. So I think you could probably do all of them if you're working in an office. If you have something fancy for parties, you have a very fancy event. This is a very good price from Dodo Bar Or. It is called the Kimmel Sequin Twist Midi Dress. It reminds me a little bit what Halston was doing ages and ages ago. It covers stuff up and yet I think it's super, super sexy and it's flattering on many body types. Here is Duvu, New York, the MAGA pleated dress, also good darn price. I can't tell what color this is. Is it gray or is it black? I think it's like a tailoring kind of gray, a charcoal kind of gray. It has pockets, it has slits, but they're not huge slits. And God, I think that would look incredibly wonderful with a blazer. Derek Lamb. Daphne belted eyelet sundress. What's so interesting about this is that it is mixing a couple of things. It has the camp shirt on top, right? Just in the bodice with the pockets. Then it has a puffy sleeve and then it has tears and eyelet on the final tier. So it's not too feminine, but it is feminine. Another Derek Lamb, the Fatima embroidered A-line dress. I mean, these prices are crazy. Why do they put this with boots? I don't know. It was like that, that, that other black long thing that could be a cover-up that's completely see-through they put on with boots. But this is embroidery. And first of all, the silhouette, so flattering, so many people, so many body types. And can you see this with a naked leg and a pair of flip-flops and a straw bag? I can, I can. Co. This is a layered v-neck maxi dress. Simple, elegant. I hate the way they styled it. What is going on with those shoes in that bag? They're just wrong on every single level. So you have to use your own imagination. Again, something else you could put on with a blazer. Probably not for work, but I like a blazer. The right cut, the right proportion with a maxi dress. And this co collared Oxford shirt dress, again, that blue, just looking at this kind of color makes my body temperature feel cooler. I like that it's not clinging anywhere, a little deep cut, but you could wear a little bralette under that if you're not comfortable with it or have a little snap put there, pockets. Nothing not to love about it. I would roll up the sleeves personally, but it's a very good price and I, oftentimes enjoy what Co does. I don't see anybody talking about that, not like I watch that many people. Now there might be a couple of things that I forget when I was getting my pictures together, so when you're doing checking the links down below, you might hit on something that wasn't in the video. If it's not in the video, I'll put a star by it. Let's let's do that. Cara Cara Mimi Poppy Print Cotton Poplin Midi Dress. This to me again has a little bit of a vintagey 
thing going on. It's kind of 50s, kind of, oh, what is the name? I cannot remember the name Ava Gardner-ish, right? Or Sophia Loren kind of a thing, like a, a 50s thing. Off the shoulder, nipped waist, goes out a little bit, happy colors, scream summer, throw a whole bunch of bold, weird, non-matching jewelry, and love that. So fun, so cheerful. I used to have something a little similar to that. I'm trying not to do too many of the blue shirt things. I have a thing for blue shirts. This they're calling a dress from AC Factory Times Lutz Hue striped shirt dress. Would not wear it with a dress, as a dress, but isn't that cool? I would wear that with pants. I would wear it with jeans. I would wear it with leggings. I would wear it with another skirt. You could do a more form-fitting white skirt with this, kind of a midi or even midi or maxi. You know what's really big right now are the maxi denims. You could do a maxi denim in a white with something like this, so you're puffy on top and thinner on the bottom, or just go puffy puffy. Alamas. Love the puffy sleeves, love this mustard, dirty kind of mustard with some pink, with some green. There are colors here, but again, they're not as vibrant. They're more muted in their tone. This price is insane. The Winnie Floral Linen Midi Dress. I didn't see it in my size, but I'm going to keep on checking. I don't know how this brand runs. Some brands, to them, an extra large is a 10. So I would be like XXXL, and they don't make for me, but what a great price. Another Alamess, the Evie Eyelet Cotton Maxi Dress, just fantastic. I don't have something like this. I have a nightgown kind of like this, but I don't feel like I should wear it out. I would love to have something like this in my wardrobe. Aj, A, J, E, the Paradiso Floral Cinched Midi Dress, Again, it has that kind of a vintage silhouette about it, nipped in on the waist, flows out a little bit, hides the junk in the trunk. They're just summer, fun, flats, carefree, get yourself a fake tan. Now this one from ALC is the last dress, and this is also such an interesting juxtaposition because it feels like, this is called the Florence Midi Dress, and it feels kind of like a, a utility dress, right? Except what she did in the center with the cutaway and then you have the pleating probably the same fabric but when you're walking that's going to be really kind of interesting and it's almost reminds me of those kind of safari ish with an edge lovely so that is dresses oh you know what there's one more dress so i'm looking on this Saks website and I didn't take a picture of this one. This is Syncocept called the, I can't read it, Single Tiered Maxi Midi Dress. And it is this peach color that is just such a dream. The hem goes up just a little bit and there's lovely little detailing on the bodice. I just think it's, a, you know, lovely. Let's go into shirts, you guys. So Stein Goya, I cannot with this color. Are you kidding me? Yes. If you have a you know nice waist, because I'm not sure how high this might run depending on how high your torso is, you could wear it with a skirt, wear it with a pant, wear it with a cargo. Love this color. Happy, happy color. I don't know, you know, what bird is out there having a happy time. Uh, Sylvia Shisari again. Now these I have to because I didn't take these picture. Yeah, just no. Shirasi. Sylvia Shirasi. Uh, again, the color, the embroidery, it's just happy. The way they have it paired is very matchy matchy. I would go casual with this, honestly. Rosy Ocelin. Look at this orange scallop. I don't even know what you are. And the back kind of reminds me of, of something related to the church. Some kind of habit kind of thing. That is insane. I love that. Love the color. Love it. Now this one from Magalie Pascal, same as the dress, but I want the dress more. <laughs> I want that dress. 
Lafayette 148 New York Pintuck pleated. Again, this kind of color just feels cool to me. I actually have something like this in linen uh, with a shorter sleeve, but I think, you know, I'm going to show you some pants in a few minutes that I think these will go with. Acris Punto, this is, I believe it's linen, it's poplin, ooh, even better, and it's just chic. I think it's just chic. Pants, skirts, whatever you want to do, maybe even at the pool, it's white. And another one from Acris Punto, striped cotton poplin button blouse. I love this. I just love this. Spring and summer, it's a little bit different because halfway, well, one third down the sleeve, one fourth down the sleeve, they change the direction of the stripe. Again, I'll show you some pants. And the inside right here is open. So yeah, it's a striped cotton shirt, whatever, but it's a little bit more interesting. Again, I think piling on some jewelry with this could be a lot of fun. ALC, I love this short sleeve top. It's a fabulous price and wanted to bring it to your attention. And now let's get into pants. Stella McCartney, are you kidding me? This shape is very flattering on me. I love this particular shape. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm, I'm certainly glad that more people are doing it. Those would look good with every one of those blue shirts, every one of them. Now, there's two pants that are very similar, and I showed one of them before, actually. It is, again, Sylvia Sh uh, Shirasi, the geometric pant, and it has a blue tuxedo stripe down the side of the leg. I just love it. You could wear these with flats. You could wear them with sandals. You could wear them, I think they would be great with a loafer mule or just a loafer. White shirt, of course, maybe a blue shirt to go with the blue stripe. And then Piazza, Sempinoni, probably saying that wrong. I can't see, it's really small. Same kind of pant. It's form fitting, has a teeny bit of a flare. It's just above the ankle. And it just, it, again, kind of a Palm Beach, old money, East Coast. Now, if you like a wide leg pant, this pant will make your legs look a mile long. Helmut Lang, the high-rise carpenter jean. I used to wear carpenter pants. I used to get them at the surplus store. They made them tons of colors. They're incredibly flattering. And now they're coming back, I guess. I think they're super pants. Frame, seamed high rise, relaxed trousers. Again, this cut, I just I just really love it. It's loose in the leg, it tapers a little bit. It looks like, because she's wearing heels, it might be a little bit above the ankle. You could live in a pair of pants like that all summer long. If you are into Dries Van Noten at half off, almost half off, these silk drawstring pants, I, I need to say no more. Co, I love these pockets. They're enormous, they're unexpected, and I think they actually can hide some, some bad stuff. The pleated draped pocket trouser. And that is going to wrap up bags. I'm beginning to sweat. <laughs> Let's get into skirts. Sakai. I love this brand. Unfortunately, their large size is <laughs> not large. And nothing. I I've tried a couple of things from them and I had to send them back. But this, I have to call to your attention. I think it is plain old super cool. It's just cool. From Lisu, the glittery A-line midi skirt. There's something kind of Indian about this. And it looks like it's something that is a little bit dressier, but I like to mix things up a little bit, and I could imagine wearing that with a cotton kind of peasanty, puffy sleeved, very light, and very, what's the right word? I don't want to say inexpensive, but fabric that is exactly the opposite of this, and wear it during the day. 
the detailing on that is just beautiful and the price is very very good. A couple of things from Dries Van Noten. There's something about the color of this skirt. It looks like it's blue but I think it's a really beautiful purple. I can imagine this with a an Oxford button-down shirt, crisp and white, kind of juxtaposing the fluidity of the fabric of the skirt. I like doing that kind of stuff but it's this skirt which they are calling this Celine floral. I just these colors make me happy and I love the way they set it up with a blazer. That's what I mean about wearing maxis with blazers. I think it can absolutely work. In this case they didn't do something fitted. They went about it uh, slouchy and that works too. I love the way that works and of course you could just wear it with a plain white cotton t-shirt and some beautiful sandals and you are in like Flynn. I just love Dries Van Noten. This is totally my colorway. Now here's something that is much less expensive. It's that same yellow happiness. They're showing it on the model with the matching top. I wouldn't do that actually. Again, I'd wear just a, a Hanes, you know, v-neck cotton t-shirt with something like this and flip-flops. It's happy. It's summer. I'm there for it. Now here's something really well, well priced. I've never seen anything like this black skirt with the little uh, glimmer shimmer whatever's going on. It looks like it's a drawstring waist and honestly, yes, if you have a party to go to, it's they're saying it's sequins, but I, I don't know if it's traditional sequins. If you have something to go to, some kind of party to go to, yes. I see this during the day with a t-shirt and I think it's such a fun item and such a good price. It, it might be worth exploring, just going outside your comfort zone a little bit. Alamas, look at this skirt. I love this. They're showing it with a bathing suit top. Um, I dig the shoes because it mark, it matches the belt. I love this brand. I believe it might be an Italian brand or a Spanish brand, but to me, this really suits the California more chic as opposed to California how I've been wearing my leggings all day long kind of a look that I adore and I love the colors again makes me happy this Acris Puto gingham tall circle skirt I don't know why they're calling it that because I don't see any gingham look at the texture on that this is a fun playful skirt the kind of skirt that I would put on and I would just have a smile on my face because it's so happy. It's so cheerful. It's so playful. I adore that. Philip Lim, again, this is something for the office. This is such a good price for this knife pleat skirt in kind of a dulled yellow. I don't know what you would call this color. Wonderful for the office. Now we're going to go into a category we haven't done before and it is bringing back my feels. It's This is what was happening I think I might have been in my early 20s. I don't remember when this was a thing, but they were called flight suits back in my day. And they were pretty inexpensive. And they came oftentimes in a parachute kind of fabric. And that is a jumpsuit, you guys. It's a onesie. And they're doing them short too, which when I was in high school, we had two pieces. But when I was in, uh, we didn't have junior high school. It was K through seven, I think, and then eight, nine, ten, and no, K through eight. We had onesies for our gym outfits and ours were pale blue, they were cotton, and we the shorts were kind of long and the girls would roll up the shorts a little bit and roll up the sleeves a little bit. And now, <laughs> and now people are making them. If you have the legs for something like this, I can't. If I had the legs for something like this, I would get both of these. So one is from I think it's Maria Cher, and it's the Ursula Utility Romper. How fun is that? And then the other one is Isela, the front tie play suit, which is much more colorful. And yeah, how cute is that? Now, they have them in longer versions, of course. This is a cheat. This is like a culotte. But it's kind of fun, right? By Kay Unger, really good price, great for the office by frame. This kind of looks like one of the versions that was around 
when they were coming around the first time. I really don't remember. I think it was my early 20s. You could do it with sneakers. You could do it with sandals. You could do it with heels. You can add some jewelry to this. And then there's another one by Bash, or B-A and S-H. I'm not sure how to say that. Another good price. Actually, a little bit better than the frame price. Acris Punto looks like something you would wear to work. It, it looks much more elegant iteration of that. And you guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I certainly hope the camera's still going. It is, <laughs> yay. And you guys, that is it. So here's what's going on. I'm not doing Amazon Prime. <laughs> If, if, I'm not an influencer with them, I'm an associate, which means I don't get the information of what it's going to be. And I thought, well, how can I recommend home appliances that I haven't? I, I, it just is way too much trouble for someone like me to do that because I'm an associate instead of an influencer. And yeah, not gonna do it. Never have done it. I might never do it, but. I'm probably going to do something for the Nordstrom sale. The anniversary sale will be coming up soon. So it's just going to be two videos. And you know, usually I find the clothes that I like the best at this sale, honestly. As always, I'm chatting too, too much. I wanna thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope that you enjoy taking a look at things that I love that are on the sale. If there's anything that you like, hop on it now, you guys. And if it's not in stock, keep on going back. It has worked for me many times. I'll just keep on going back and it'll pop up. And sometimes it pops up for a short period of time. So um, I should be embarrassed to say, but I'm not going to be embarrassed to say that, no kidding, I might check every couple of hours. Just, it takes me a second. Okay, once an hour. I don't set an alarm or anything, but I check a lot. It takes me a second. Is it my size in? No, okay, I'm gonna keep on going. And it, it oftentimes will come back in. Until the next video, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health. Ciao.